And so having to go through those licensing hearings, can you just talk about what that, I mean, that just must have been really brutal. Yeah, it was brutal. We, we did, a, we did a, uh, an all-day, all-gay uh, program and with several different segments. Um, so there was, you know, there was poetry, there was frank, open discussion. There was like weird programs like where I had a persona, I think I was like Helen Wheels. <laughs> and I was just like, I talk kind of like Patty and Selma uh, from, the home, from The Simpsons before Patty and Selma existed. I totally blew my voice that day when I was like, you know, just saying outrageous things like watching guys with their asses hanging out of their chaps and shit like that and just having a really good time. Uh, but there was a couple of things, uh, Robert and I talking very frankly and openly about, uh, you know, uh, in, in the context of talking about transmission. And then I had also read a poem by a Mohawk uh, poet, Beth Brandt. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a guy who was listening who wasn't a friend and worked for a commercial radio station. And he cited these two things and wrote to the CRTC. And we were taken to, 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 to public hearing on our license renewal. And. Um, it was the first radio station in Canada that was given these restrictions about not being able to do or say certain things during certain periods of time. You would have been subject to that. Yeah. Thank me now.